uh, in musical terms, what is that song all about? In musical terms? Yeah, I mean, it's very classical, more than a classical kind of well, piece. Well, uh, if you... It starts out... It, it starts out as a very interesting... Would you like me to get technical on this? Yeah. All right. Frank and I both... The, before I joined the band, this has always been a, a, a very strong impetus to me harmonically, is the minor Lydian. Say, for instance, yeah. you have a C minor on the bottom. This is a, this is a polytonal concept I'm yeah, describing yeah, here. Yeah. You have a C minor on the bottom, and you have a D major on the top. Normally, when you see a chord, say, D over C, yeah. A over G. G over F, F over B flat. These are all Lydian chords. They're using the tritone in them. And it's always been, I can remember the first time I had ever heard it. I heard Errol Garner play it, and I said, I have to have that. And this is like it's seven years old. That sound, and I've lived that sound my whole life. It's something way deep inside me. It was way deep inside Frank, too. It's all over his music. And that's one of the things that drew me to him. So anyway, the song starts out with an E flat major over a C sharp minor, which is a, I call it a minor Lydian. That's, I have my own treatise of harmony. But that is uh, the basic structure of the, 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 the germ of the song, and it's, and it's arpeggiated. And there's a series of four chord changes. Each of them goes four times. And then you have this punctuated mm, bop. So it's like, and it's all by this minor's third uh, uh, development, which is from the minor Lydian to set up with you. I'm, all, I'm describing this totally from that chord impetus. Then he starts introducing the melody that. Section. Yeah. And then the thing gets, uh, it, which it never had in, initially. It started to happen in, uh, I believe, 1980, that um, there was an arpeggiated thing that we had an, an arpeggiator. And then it, the bass went, vada, vam, vam, vada. And then Frank would blow on that. Then the song came back, exact transposition, but from C sharp, the, the whole thing modulated to B, so that the minor Lydian structure now is a C sharp major over a B minor. That's when the melody came. Section comes in which I initially played on the, the electrocomp. Uh, now Bruce plays it on trombone. Actually, we, we all three of us play at different times now together on that. So Frank actually wrote a melody. And generally speaking, when Frank writes a melody over a tune, he's extracting notes of the chords in his melodies. You, you, it's, a, it's sort of a constant with him. And, um, ooh, did I screw that mic up? So anyway, am I sort of explaining? Sorry? Am I sort of answering the question? Yeah. When, when you said yeah. about the yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's enough on that. Could we break for a sec? Okay. Okay, the next question is uh, that uh, your s soloing concept during... Uh, the tours mm -hmm. with Frank. Mm -hmm. uh, how much freedom did you get, and uh, uh, how much of uh, that soloing work was um, uh, ordered by Frank? Uh, let's see. The answer to that question is varied and sundried. <laughs> I had quite a bit of freedom my first year in that the, the first tour my solo was on pound for brown in seven and that could be taken out quite quite a bit but 
when it really started to happen for me, and it, and it did happen on Pound, uh, but when Frank gave me Little House, I used to live in to solo on, then I started out unaccompanied piano with my bass, my, my Taurus bass pedals. Then Terry and I, Terry Bozio and I would do a, a duo thing for a little while, and then I always set up a vamp at the end of it that I could blow on. So it was j just like a kind of a dream come true. However, the difficult part of it was that the shows sometimes would get abbreviated. When we played the, the first American tour, it was the only time that I was ever in the band and the only time since then that it ever happened. But we had a show that never changed, ever. That was the only tour that ever happened when I was in the band. And we still were the mothers at that point. The, the European tour that happened after that in the winter, then Frank started the concept of cells, of little germs of, of segues. Three or four songs, segue to four or five songs, segue to two or three songs, segue to six songs. And he'd mix and match them. We'd always have powwows before the show. So sometimes the uh, formula of the, the show order would change, and sometimes I wouldn't get a piece of meat. I can remember occasionally that my only freaking piece of meat in, in the whole freaking night was goddamn, uh, why does it hurt when I pee that boom, boom, bing, bing, gong, 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 gong. You know what I mean? And I would, I would blow Baroque. I would have a little, <laughs> I'd get 16 bars of Baroque, you know what I mean? That, have to, that, that would have to take care of my meat for that night, yeah. you dig? And so, as I say, it was different. Now, I'm the kind of player, though, that whenever I can get a little taste, I'm going to get a little taste. And so when Frank would be doing a guitar solo, sometimes it would be that I'd play a little bit on the mini Moog, and, and it would be a kind of a repartee kind of thing. But you'd have to watch that with Frank. You, you could know, you'd know when you're going past the line. Or I'd play some long tones, and then maybe occasionally when there would be a breath, grab a little taste. But... I was very fortunate to have that, uh, you know, that unaccompanied thing. Uh, and then, you know, like, I can remember, like, when Peter would solo on Wild Love, I always wanted to have that, that uh, Latin kind of uh, solo, the, the burning kind of solo. Yeah. And Frank kind of, for some reason, uh, didn't, didn't like us sometimes to burn. Did you know what I mean? He, he's the solo you know, artist, I can understand that. But I can remember one time <laughs> I wanted to solo so fucking bad on on Wild Love <laughs> that during Peter's solo in Atlanta, I took my pants off and I was down in my burkini briefs and I went on the front of the stage and danced. <laughs> <laughs> and and like Frank was digging the fuck out of it, man. And I was just like weaving in a bob into all the chicks that were up there. And it was sort of like my solo, and I couldn't solo, so this is the best I could get. <laughs> and so, and I, I don't know if Peter enjoyed it, but, but Frank said to me after the show, he says, I'm never going to ask you to do that, Tommy, but whenever you feel like it, please do it. <laughs> you know. And I, I thought, you know, since I did it once, like with the music, if you do one thing for Frank, he, you are expected to do it that way yeah. every single time. It's a given in the equation. Yeah. So I figured, oh, God, now that I've done this, now what have I cre What monster have I created for myself <laughs> now? But he actually told me right after the show, he said, y you don't have to do it, but I loved it. And whenever you want to, feel free, Morris. So. Yes, uh, all the video clips I have seen, are, I really loved your scat singing and when you're uh, playing keys along. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Baby Snakes and uh, one... Concert from Paris, uh, oh, Paris. 1980. Mm -hmm. That's a broadcast. Was Vinny playing on that? Or no, uh, David, David Logan. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. H how did you build up uh, songs in rehearsals? It was kind of uh, collective effort. How did I, we build songs? You mean the compositional yeah, form of it? Yeah. Frank uh, <clears throat> g well, gave you a, a song, variety, and then a you a variety of ways. Okay. You a, a variety of ways. Some songs. They came in as a riff of the guitar, you'd say. And they would always happen in a particular way. Frank would start playing it uh, like at a sound check. And he'd play it incessantly. He'd play it all the time. He'd play it until you were sick of it. He was always a lick. And, and then he would come in with like a, 
a vamp for it or a little sequence of chords for it. 